check this. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Gator, and oh my god, this should have been done three fucking days ago, but we're here now. Welcome to the very first episode of the Getafe, or Getafe, if there's any Spaniards in watching this, I'm so sorry if I butchered that. The Getafe Career Mode, episode one. Now, this is going to be a short episode because it's really only an introduction. We're not going to really get fully in. We might even get down to deadline day. It's just me looking at the squad, giving my thoughts, and talking about certain factors that will be in this career but before we go any further if you do like the videos please don't forget to leave a like subscribe comment below share friends other good stuff this war is very much appreciated now we have our boy as always MSG Games or Games or Ganes and he's Spanish this time instead of Italian he did very well at Brescia by the way even though I didn't finish the actual Brescia career mode we won the Europa League we won the Coppa Nazionale and we won the UEFA Super Cup against PSG so there you go I won trophies anyway I don't care if it was off I don't care if it was on video. It happened, okay? Right, so now we're about to advance. Now, I know the basics of career mode now, especially to train. The train's very specific and picky, but I like it. I do like it. I love the sim thing. I love the sim thing. Now, for the sim thing, for friendlies, they're just going to get into sims. For actual games, they'll be watch sim, and they'll, there'll be very small cuts, if any. So, obviously, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So now we're going to go all the way down to Spain and choose... Getafe, who I believe finished in Europe League class. So, founded in from the ashes of Club Getafe Deportivo in 1983, the club immediately achieved four promotions in a row after its re after its creation from 1983 to 1987. They currently compete in the La Liga Santander, the highest tier of football in Spain, also known as Azulones, the Deep Blues. Getafe made their first appearance in Spain's first division in the 2004 5 season. They have not a lot of for budget, they have some decent enough youth players from what I know. Well, as you know, their YouTube numbers were very low, but they have a couple of young players there. They have very, very low expectations, so they'll fit with me just fine. And we are about to end it now. Quick thing. To make a hard, strict negotiation. I don't want to be signing Mbappe, okay? I want to make this hard. I want to make it a grind. There will not be a financial takeover. It'll be changed. Two euros. And we are about to start the first episode of the Getafe slash Getafe career mode football is back and career mode is back and career mode is better than ever and now here we are the first thing is of course the friendlies and i like i just uh, say these menus are beautiful all right so as you can see straight away we have the drink and also even that that's nice okay i can't remember that being in the last one to be honest all right so as you can see straight away we have the training day and everything like that but right now i want to take a look at the squad i know we got rid of a couple of players like for example jorge Molina. Who's, a, I'm not sure if he's a club legend, but he was very much liked. I like this guy, actually, um, Angel. He's a decent enough striker. Oh, is this, um, is this the Colombian guy? Former Wofford, I believe. We also got, who's actually a right mid now. Who's going to play a right back. That's nice. We got Suarez. Wrong Suarez. Gene, who's actually a very, very good centre back. Maximovic. Nice. And Barry is slow as time, to be completely honest. Well, yeah, 52 is not the worst, so I think it's one. Cucurella is a nice one. Oliveira, uh, you're, you're, you're gone. You're gone, man, sorry. Uh, who do we have here on the bench? 59 pace, 62 pace, but you're 72 age. Yeah, we'll go for this lad. And where is the... Did they sell it? Did they sell in die? Oh, I swear, if they sold in die. Unless he's out on loan. Please have me and dies out on loan. I want to bring him back if he is. Because I have him on the fucking thumbnail and everything. Yes, he's on loan. Okay. Ah, recall him straight away. Get in here. I'm missing die. You are on the thumbnail. You're not going anywhere, son. Okay. Thank. Oh, I do not want to lose him. But also, I'm happy to say. Player fucking development straight away i am going to make in die into a fucking striker because i fucking can all right i know it'll take a while but i don't care 
D won't fit in on the right for now. I could fit him on the right actually for Neon, but I have um I have plans. I also was thinking of having Neon as back as a full on right back just so I can uh what's the word? Just so I can have some depth there, because from what I see we don't have a lot of depth. Alright, so if I were to change it to an attacking midfielder, it would take eleven weeks. A centre forward, four weeks. A right winger, two weeks. A striker, five weeks! Look at his stats! Look at his stats! He has all the pace in the world! He's not exactly the strongest or the fittest, but you know, he can develop, he can develop. The dribbling is class, he's four star, four star. And just those shooting stats will just be absolutely blown out of the water. So yes, train him to be a striker. And by the end of the first month of the transfer window, he is going to be a fucking striker. Okay, no, straight away we have so many lone players. We have two strikers. That's it. They're both over the age of 30. Okay, so straight away from what I can see, we need a new striker. We need a new right back because both are right backs at 32. Uh, midfield, we're fairly stacked. On the wing, we're also fairly stacked in defensive midfield. Maybe some backup. Centre back, we're okay for now, I think. Left back is okay. Um, so, right, so I think we need a striker. Hey, what was the other one? Wait, now he's crazy. Crazy. No, we need a no. Actually, no. Winger's fine. We need a striker. We need a back up. Right, no. We need a striker, right back, and left back because we don't have a back up left back because I have a thing. If you don't have a face, if you really don't have a picture, get the fuck out of my club. Okay, so let's see here. It's not at least one player younger than 21, and rare average, okay, so I'm one player from Europe, nothing, finish the table, run 32, finish within UEFA, you will pick spots in two seasons, I can do that, two seasons, two seasons, two seasons, two seasons, two seasons, two seasons, now this is a nice thing I'll give for EA credit for, if you pre-order the game, I think a above the standard you do get, a very good youth academy straight off the bat, so let's take a look who we got here, we got Hiroshi Nakano, who is a 52 rated goalkeeper with 62 to 82 potential. Not too bad, it could be better. This guy, I'm not even going to give you the light of day. Just... This is probably our main guy, Sa Sander. Oh dear god, oh, I'm so sorry. If you didn't know it. Sander Aune? I'm going to say Sander Aune. Alright, he's a Cam that's set for 15 years old. She's last 15 year old uh, Norwegian to come out of a Spanish team. He's uh, doing pretty good now, isn't he? Oh, and he's five star skills too! <laughs> what do you know? He's absolutely tiny. He has no really good stats. And Is that a fucking cam with high defensive work rates? Thank God you can change work rates now. Oh, God. And finally, we got a guy from Venezuela called Rafael Cafuentes, who doesn't look the worst. I'll get something sorted out for these guys in the future, but... Overall, I just want to get on the focus now. We're going to set up our scout reports now. We have 8 million to work with. But like I said, some people are listed up at Transfer for many people with no face. But we're going to see who we can actually sign. So once again, striker, right back, a backup left back. And I think that was it. Yeah. Right, so for some reason they have striking pro prolific. I don't care, but I'll leave that for now. We have left back, first in quality, and right back, first in quality set up. Now, for an actual tricky one, the formation. Now, uh, from what I know of why I played the game so far, pace is odd. You can have someone who's really, really, really pacey, but really weak. Or you can have someone who's kind of slow, but pretty strong. Both of them will do well in certain situations. Angel is neither. He's pretty prolific, though. Uh, we got Mata here, who is slower, but would be a bit stronger. Like, he has 79 strength compared to his 68. But we have Hernandez here who has 83 pace. That's not too bad. So I have a formation in mind. So I'll be back with you guys with that. Right, so this one looks like I know it looks like just like a fortress 2, but it's actually a custom 4231. I just have I just have um, Hernandez pushed up as more of a Cam, I don't know why I just didn't go with the board trip too, but it's too late now. Um, I have the other two cams pushed out a little more so they're acting actually like right miss because if you actually play someone out of position, their stats go down just a little bit along with their match sharpness. So yeah, but the thing is Nam is Nyam, sorry not Nam or Nyam. Nyam is already starting to deplete because he's 32. 
Same with Suarez. I can't really move these guys any further up because then they'd be centre mids. Even though they can play centre mid. Right, so we have Matt on the bench who's a bigger, stronger striker. We've got Portillo who can play on both uh, wings. Same with Diaby who's on loan. Timor is centre, centre mid depth. Uh, we need another full back. If I have one. That's why we need a backup left back. We'll put in this face this fraud for now. We got Rodriguez, who I actually want to put in because he's left footed on the left hand side. There, our key players this season will probably be Soria, I'd say Olivia, Jenny, and Cucurella. I just feel like Cucurella was doing very, very well. I appreciate his high, high work rates. It's uh, one thing I'm annoyed about now. This used to have like their age as well, and what else? What was, what else was there? Like their nations. Now, if you want to look at that, you actually have to go into squad de uh, the squad thing. And their work rates too. Like, I'm pretty sure Cucurella has high height. But you don't mind considering, like, I'm pretty sure you have high medium. You could even play left mid or you can have high ideas. I don't know, okay? I didn't actually get to look up that much. Unal will probably mold Mata out of this position soon enough, but. Yeah, this is a fairly scuff team, like that most of the guys will probably leave. Uh, let's go you there. Right there, that's a lot more time. Now, Trin, I have my own little thing sorted out, right? Okay, I do this on my personal career mode. Sorry, I got the fucking okay. So, obviously, there will be some players that will be left out. But, that's just football, okay? Alright, so for the schedule before a match, always have a rest day. After a match, recovery. But we're not going to have either. We are going to have... Sorry, it intermittent training. So basically, that basically means players are trained to gain um, characters, but spend fitness in drills in training occurs after a game with back to back training sessions. You're not be happy. But obviously, then there's rest, but you don't want that either. So I guess the only this is pretty much the most steady. They gain more sharpness and they lose less fitness. So like training, rest, training, rest, and then like it'll be different on certain occasions too. I will confirm that. And yeah, the only thing is now, and I would recommend this for people who haven't started remote yet, play the thing only once. All right, each time for each different drill. Only once you need to. As long as you get above a C, it's fine because then you can sim every single one and it'll judge off your best high score. I'm not sure if you can do all the drills offline and use like Messi and Ronaldo to do it, but I'm gonna play these off recording now. Hopefully get at least a C and then sim, like just do all that until I fill up all the gaps basically. There's just a quick sample. I got B, so they lose 10 fitness, but they gain 5 sharpness. But then as you've seen this one, I got C. That's the result of an A plus 10 sharpness, basically. Okay, guys. Right, so that's basically all of the fundamentals of the career mode. But now, this is my goals, right? I have four seasons to win La Liga, a European trophy. I'm not saying the Champions League, a European trophy. The Spanish League. Like sorry, the, the Copa, the Copa del Rey, and also have a player win the Golden Boot. Now that one is a niche one. I know it's very, very niche, but I would like to have that because I have a certain system. So, like as you know, last season we had like three things, but we have something that will be going on every week and every month. You probably know where I'm going with this, so. Yeah, we'll leave that up to you, in my opinion. Like, all I'm going to say is, one of them, like, two of them, two of, like, the kind of reward systems will go down to you. One of them will be based just mainly on stats. So that is it, guys. I know it's a very, very short. It's very, 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 very short. Not only it's because, I like, I have a huge workload right now, but this is literally just all I wanted to plan. It's literally just an introduction. So uh, it might even be an episode zero. Yeah, fuck it. It's episode zero of the... Getafe career mode, so I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna cut out the power. Nah, fuck it, we'll just leave that in and we'll just, you know, decide it now. I'll just leave text in for whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that leaves the goals and it, it has everything straightened out for you. And maybe if you had a couple of questions about career mode, I'd answer them. But if you have even more questions about career mode, leave them in the comments below. I always answer the comments. And yeah, if you have any thoughts on the career mode, any tips, any suggestions, leave them in the comments below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And as always, I will see you next time.